Welcome to the WebSwing Quick Start Guide. In this video, I will show how to run a JavaSwing based application in a browser using WebSwing. First, you need to download the latest version of WebSwing. Go to webswing.org downloads and download the zip archive. Once downloaded, extract the archive. In this example, we use C drive. Start the WebSwing with the admin console using the provided batch file or shell script. WebSwing runs in embedded Jetty server, but can be deployed in different application servers like Tomcat 2. Go to localhost port 8080, enter admin as user and pwd as password. This is the WebSwing application selector. You may try out one of the provided demo applications, but now I will create a new application. Click Manage. This will bring you to the admin console. Click on the Applications tab. Now click the plus button and type the name of the application. In this example, we use Floodlab. Open the application configuration by clicking on it. Now find Floodlab Swing application and download it. Open the apps folder in your WebSwing working directory and create a new folder named Floodlab. Move the downloaded Floodlab jar file into this folder. Now open the admin console and click on app config. Set home folder. Add the class path files. Set the main class. Click apply and it is done. Now we can try running our Swing application in the browser using WebSwing. You can start it from the application selector or simply open URL localhost port 8080 slash floodlav as we said before. If your application does not start, check the logs for further details. Thank you for watching.